Should you buy Destiny 2's Bungie 30th Anniversary Pack? Well, let's see if it's worth it to you. But first, a quick reminder of what you get for free for just logging in. You get access to the Dares of Eternity 6 player activity. This activity drops the weapons from Halo. It can drop the battle rifle, two swords that have each half of the energy sword on them, and these swords have a unique perk called Eager's Edge that when you swap to the sword and swing it, it will launch you forward very quickly. It's a lot of fun. And they also added Destiny's first legendary trace rifle based off the focus rifle. Then there's also a free exotic quest for the Magnum. They also include the shotgun from Marathon and this grenade launcher that I have no idea where it's from. All that stuff is pretty good for the price of free, but what about the stuff for the price of 25 bucks? Let's start off with the main attraction, the Curse of Avarice Dungeon. The unique thing about this dungeon is that it's laced with traps, so there's a lot of fun to be had bringing in friends who haven't played it before and getting them to die to all of them. But the actual gameplay of the actual encounters is just Gambit 5.0, so it's not that innovative. You just do the classic pick up a drop and put it somewhere routine. So the people who are not here for the loot and looking for an exciting new piece of Destiny content might be satisfied, but I wouldn't personally recommend it for 25 bucks. The loot though is really good for both PvE and PvP players. The classic Destiny 1 PvP monsters return, the Aeus Luna, 1000 Yard Stare, and the Matador 64, all with really good roles and archetypes in D2. It can also drop this sword from their game Claymore that is the same archetype as Falling Guillotine. Another really interesting fact about this dungeon is that the Master Mode will drop armor with an extra perk slot on it for artifact mods. This will be especially useful for gloves since you can finally use a reload mod when using two champion mods. You also progress the quest to unlock Gallahorn in the dungeon, but to have optimal DPS on a team, only one person needs Gallahorn since it gives all of your teammates legendary rocket launchers wolfpack rounds and these legendaries can roll with stuff like Frenzy and Lasting Impression and can put on boss spec so it's gonna have higher DPS than Gallahorn. Although Gallahorn is really strong at ad clear and it can clear out rooms very easily. Also since it is solar it can generate war mine cells with the Wrath of Rasputin mod. If the gameplay benefits didn't sell you on the pack and you're looking more for cosmetics then take a look at these armor sets. And I guess if you think any of them are worth 25 bucks, then go right ahead and buy the pack. So, my overall verdict is that if you're an active Destiny player who plays PvP or wants even the slightest edge on the next raid race because of the adept armor, or you're a speedrunner who wants the swords, then I would recommend this pack. Other than that, only get this pack if money isn't an issue for you, but that can be said about buying anything. Also, I think it's really funny that Bungie is giving out the Halo weapons and charging for old D1 weapons because they know that Destiny fans will buy anything that they put out, especially stuff that existed in the previous game. Also, if you are thinking about buying this pack on PC, Fanatical is doing a sale right now and it's only around 21 bucks. but if you have Honey or something and have a coupon, then it can go to around 19 bucks. That's how the guy in the background footage who was getting monkeyed on by the dungeon traps bought it and it worked perfectly fine. I'll have a link in the description if anyone wants it.